Hey everybody, Fox Rose here, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Last time, we didn't really do much other than beat up the whole group of people, like usual. And, uh, then we also got the Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, which will be in this episode, so don't be upset about that. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on a heavily fortified group with the help of Bakura. And to those of you who have seen the OG anime, this is good, Bakura. It's very well effective. Yeah, unless we do something, we're just going to continue to sustain damage. There's gotta be something else we can try. I'm sorry. I love the OG dub of the series, but Tristan is so fucking annoying. The only more annoying character in this show, in my opinion, is probably Taya. Just saying. Perhaps there is. Let's free all of the surrounding villages and towns and strengthen our own position. But before that, we gonna fortify this bitch! Because we got a soldier coming through, well, two soldiers, both of them via land. And yeah. So, main objective is to de defeat Capulia which, looking at his equipment and stuff right now, nobody's a healer. Good. Curiosity. Nobody else is a healer. Bitchin! Oh, that makes my job so much easier. Now I'm just gonna pay attention and see if any of the, the following enemies defend or not. And if they do defend, well, I'm gonna whoop the ass so they don't come back. Yada yada yada. So let's see how this goes. Who is the weakest defense wise? The Phantom Duan. Shadow Claw. Whoops. Shaking in my non existent boots. Grapple Talon. Can we get rid of the annoyance yet? Stone Splitter Sword. Kapuya. slot machine just guarded, and even if he didn't guard, the only other option is Zaida, and this fucking lobster The same way his little friend just did. Crap talent! Why did you miss? Why did you miss? Stone Splitter Sword! One Grapple Talon. We'll finish that stupid lobster. Better not miss this time. Grapple talent! Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, as long as he doesn't knock out any of my teammates, it doesn't matter. Barrel limp? Figured. No level ups? That's a shame. It's not a big deal, but it is a shame. Please go for the Dark Elf, please. I was gonna mop the floor with the cannon anyway. Okay, time to deal with an entirely new team, and then go deal with the cannon. So, who's first? Let's take out the Cyber Commander first. Shadow Claw! Ooh, that was a good hit. So was that. Okay. 
Okay, stole a splitter sword. Have a wicked grapple town. Ooh yeah, bitch. Okay, now let's take a look. Dark Elf will be the next target. Shadow Claw! Have a Grapple Talon. And have a Stone Splitter Sword! People have only got two more attacks, and the one that you have a chance of knocking out is Feral Limp. And let's face it, it ain't happening. See? Have a grapple talent to finish off the job. Damn, Shimon is handling this crew with ease. Shimon may be the only one fighting so far, but he's handling it like a pro. I'm impressed. He doesn't have the absolute weakest monsters that I could ever have, but he does have weaker monsters than most others. And for that, I gotta say, well done! Out of my 12 strongest monsters, this guy's got the weakest set of them. And he's doing flawlessly! I'm legitimately impressed. Yeah, two level ups. Nothing major though. Which sucks. Anyways, the Dark Elf is the next one to come back. And before people ask why I did that, well, they're gonna be coming back. I know for a fact that these guys aren't going to just disappear, they are gonna come back. Shadow Claw! Ha! And then just nail that stone splitter sword. Boom, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Have a grapple talon. Have a shadow claw. Boom! Another grapple talon. And then round it up with the stone splitter sword. Yeah, sounds good to me. Boom! Suck it, bitch! Level ups all around. Kapuya! Bitch, bitch, I'm a wild boy. Okay, which one to go for first? We'll go for these guys first. And then, once I can't see our main base anymore, I'll have Fizdis come and help. Well, technically speaking, I can't see it, so that should be plenty of a distance in case Shimon loses it at any point. I don't think he will, but you never know. So it's better to just be safe rather than sorry. Let's get started. Let's get it started. Ha! Let's get it started in here. All right. Let's go for the Blackland Fire Dragon first. Shadow Claw. Not 
bad, not bad. Now we gotta move on to the next week. It's gonna be the target. I dare say, who's gonna be the next target? Oh yeah, Silver Fang. Grapple Talon! At ease, bitch. Stone split a sword. Yes, a crit. Can't wait till later on when crits are so much more regular. Have another grapple talent. At this point, we're gonna get the wolf done before the dragon. That's fine by me. Have a shadow claw. Bitch! The stone split a sword, bitch. Oh, you're gonna guard? All right. Wrap the town. As expected. Alright, and what's the outcome of this battle look like? You've got two monsters, pretty close to full health. Meanwhile, I've got three monsters, two of them are pretty close to being KO'd, and one of them is pretty close to full health. I think we'll win. Shadow Claw! Have a good old Grapple Talon! Followed up by the Stone Splitter Sword! <laughs> yeah, boy! Did that end it for him? Horn Imp is still with us. Shadow Claw! Stone Splitter Sword! Now it's just the, the faceless, uh, the illusionist faceless man. Grapple Talon! Now who are you going for? Horn Imp again? And with that, I win! I'm the wiener. Oh my god, I just realized I did either the Mario or the Luigi voice. So to be blunt with you guys, I actually did go and get the new Mario Plus Rapids game. And oh my god, it is literally kid-friendly Disgaea, and I love it. Just narrow it down to four weapon types. They all get their own specific things. It, it's a great game. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I don't think I'm going to get rid of it anytime soon. In fact, when one of these series that isn't like an actual game series, like Ratchet and Clank or the Digimon Story games, are all done, I think I'm going to have that on the channel. Let me know what you guys think. Also, Oh god, I just need to go to the bathroom right now. Oof. Now then. Grapple Talon! Alright, oh, you're blocking right now. Wait, wait. Yeah, no matter what, Horn Imp is done. Strongest of the trio is demolished. Shadow Claw! Have a mighty stone splitter sword! Three opponents, and I've only lost one monster so far. I would say we're doing great. Now then, 
Let's open the trade union, see what we've got here. Eh, nothing fantastic. Maybe an anti-ground cannon. Barricade. And Shimon. We'll go straight to Rower. Straight to these guys. Because if you see the cannon symbols here, I gotta wait until those are all fixed up and actually, you know, habitable. Habitable. Now Tristan's gonna be down at Ithuvak. So that way we can actually get a little more coverage. Because let's face it, with the way Fizdis' team is looking, I mean Shimon's team is looking, it's not going to last. It's not. If you think it's going to last, good on you. But I highly doubt it will. As for Fizdis, he's got a perfectly fully healed team. Or she, or whatever the fuck Fizdis is. D do they ever specify what Fizdis is? I'm gonna grab my phone and look it up all the way. Is this is a girl? Oh, I didn't know that. Well, forgive me, people. I did not know that Fizdis was in fact a girl. Now that I know, I will use the correct terms. Uh, let's see here. What a girl! Fuck her up, Shadow Claw. Stone Splitter Sword! Yeah! Bitch! Water Tornado. Eh, that's fine. Giant Soldier of Stone. Are you using that on the Giant Soldier of Stone? Why? Does he have the most health? Well, that's your reasoning. It makes sense. But if it's not... The guard and the judge man's gonna guard. What an idiot. See, the feral imp is weak. Why do you not attack? I'm not trying to make it harder on myself to get the AI in the smartest. But come on, you're part of Yu Gi Oh! You should be at least a little smarter than that. Stone Splitter Sword! I've won. No matter how you look at it. Oh wait, no, never mind. I'm impressed. Yeah, the moment you lose one monster, it just goes down a hill for that team. Like, there's no debating that. And Fizdis is close behind. But I've only got the giant soldier of stone left, so regardless, Fizdis is gonna be fighting pretty soon. And she'll do just fine, I think. Stone Splitter Sword! one has less defense. Judgment. Let's go for the judgment. Stone for the saw! Hold the fucking phone. Why? Why is the AI so dumb? They shouldn't be this dumb.
down Splutter Sword. Kapooey. Plasma Laser Cannon. Justice. Kind of easy, but what else? Fireball, go! Skull spark. Leopard Claw! <laughs> Have a good old fireball! Leopard Claw! Have another skull spark coming at you. <laughs> that the judge man falls. Skull spark. Coming next, just a bunch of fireballs, leopard claws, and skull sparks on the slot machine. So this should be the point where Bakura shows up. Yugi, that's you, Yugi, isn't it? Bakura, okay. Badly. Where's everyone else? Tristan's already here, but I do not. But I don't know where the others are. I see. Well, I'm glad that we found each other. You're attacking the provincial capital of Sagat, right? I think I can help you out. How so. You can't march an army, but there is a hole in Sagat's defenses. Leave it to me! I'll confuse the guards and destroy their defensive equipment. If you just hang in there for one more day, you will see a fire in the castle. That means the cannons will be out of action, giving you the chance you need to storm the castle. I'll get on it right away! See you in Sagat! Makura, wait! I hope he's alright. Come on, 
Eastern Trade Union have something good for me? Book of Secret Arts. Hell yeah, we'll grab a couple of these. And we'll grab three more black pendants. Now then. Cannon's good there. Cannon's good there. And it's steadily growing here. Which I need to switch the trader. Nice work. This is our best shot. Advance on the castle now. We won't go to the castle specifically, but we'll go to Kachuhan, Kothujan, or whatever. If you're going where I think you're going, the cannon's gonna kill you. Speaking of. Tristan's gonna be going for the same location just in case Fizz does croaks. And Yugi will be getting some EXP regardless. So hippity flippin' ray. As far as I'm aware, there isn't like any monsters to obtain here either, so we're golden. But I'm gonna get on the phone real quick while this is going on. Here we go. Oh boy, and Ruby and two Mega Zowlers. Hang on, hang on a second. Okay, here we go. And this is Battle for Sug Hut, so nothing here. But the next episode will have something special. Sorry, but wait, let's take a look. The Urubis, okay. Fireball! Leopard Claw! Ceratopsis. Skull Spark! We're going straight for the Raptor. Urabi. Urabi. Whatever. Urabi. Urabi. I don't fucking care. <laughs> to me, it's a fucking Raptor. It's a new deal. So, I don't freaking care. Yet. Fireball! Skull Spock! Well, we're down to one monster, and we're gonna take one before we go! Okay! This ain't looking so good. Again, when does this ever look good? Come on, Beaver Warrior. Pick up the pace. We'll get maybe two attacks in this next round. And then Fizdus is done for. Let's take a look. You've got more EXP, you're the target. Skull Spot! Skull Spot! Sk 
Skull Spark! What? I actually survived that. That is fucking amazing. I'm impressed with myself. Just get there already. Excellent. Skull Spock! Now I lose. Business. You were a great soldier. But sadly, I could not prevail with your team. I do apologize, my dear Fistus. Fistus? Fistus? Whatever. Hurricane. Ground cannon. Booyah. Houston's coming for your ways. Dark Elf is coming here. I'm gonna whoop her ways. Okay, so if I remember correctly, Cyber Commander, Dark Elf, and then the Dark Rabbit. So, Paralysis Scythe! Rodin Sword! This wasn't really a battle. Fuck it. Paralysis Scythe! Ha! Rodin Sword! And lastly, how about a flame gate, bitch? This base ain't going nowhere, fuckers. Now then, Tristan, you better win this next one. Gotta come and deal with the group that can fly. And the next batch of losers is coming out to play. Great. Anyways, let's get to it. Wild Sonic Storm! Fairy Blade Slash Wild Sonic Storm That leaves you with one move left Purple Blade Fairy Blade Slash Fairy Blade Slash! Bull Blade! Ha! Wild Sonic Storm! And lastly, Wild Sonic Storm. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. getting there. We're definitely getting there. Tristan will be able to take out this group 
in the next match. And we won't have to worry about anything. We could go straight for Coolia, but we're gonna go for that one more group. It's right down there. It has the flying buggers. We don't want them. Purple blade! Oh, we just got another move. What, bitch? Okay. Trade Union. Sword of Dragon Soul. Yes. I got four of those for a damn good reason. Those things, equipped to someone who actually uses a sword, actually are stupidly strong against dragons. Stupidly strong. And if I've got a bunch of them now, that means that I can get the jump on the next group of dragons. The next episode. Whether that be this level again or not, is remained to be seen. No, I have done that before. guarantees crits on dragons. That makes it so much of a useful tool. So much. Love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. Second to last officer here. Once we beat these clowns, then we get to go and fight. Fight. We go and fight. Capulia. Capulia, we win the level. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Wild Sonic Storm! Hell yeah. Purple Blade! Wait. Okay, I was gonna say. Fairy Blade Slash! Guarding, so regardless, I have to go for the Winged Dragon and right the Fortress. At least until your guard is up. But then, you know. What's the point in just completely demolishing a dragon? I'm not actually finishing the dragon. Boom! It's gonna sound weird or dumb, but. I wish they would make one of these games for, like, each generation of Yu-Gi-Oh! To change up the circumstances in every game, but keep the gameplay the same. Because when it comes to tactical-based RPGs, this one's pretty good. It's not, like, Disgaea or Fire Emblem God, but it's pretty damn good. The Blade! Sonic Storm! And now, one last purple blade. Just one or two attacks left on that stupid blue eagle bird thing. And then we can go fight Capulia. Capulea? Whatever. 
Capulaya? Yeah, he basically looks like a green bubble Bobasa. Or Barbosa, whatever. Bar Barbosa. <laughs> yeah, that, that's your one attack. Oh my god, not again. Mother Nature calls. Wild Sonic Storm! Fairy Blade Slash! Boom, bitch! Get out my way! Okay. Javelin! Obviously, Water Girl's going first. Blade. Next up is the Judge Man, Wild Sonic Storm. There goes the Celtic Guardian. Not a big deal. It's not that big of a loss. Purple Blade! Now I'm just... Well, it doesn't quite matter, cuz I just whoop your ass! Wild Sonic Storm! Ha! Purple Blade! That just happened. Did you seriously just crit that fucker to hell? Swordsman from a foreign land, my boy! Good job! Ah, oh, Capulia, you're next. Bitch ass is going down, whether you like it or not. Traitors! You won't take me alone, you trees on us dogs! Sonic Storm! <laughs> Helm couldn't even take you out. That's a shame. But now it's Yugi's turn, so without question, we're gonna. Egyptian gods are now the king of Egypt, Yami Yugi, is gonna whoop your ass.
Morales has signed. Why did Battleox guard just Eh, I'll worry about that later. Rodin Song! That explains it. Flame Gale! Now you gotta attack, so I automatically win this fight. Morales has signed it. Flame Gale! Rodin Sword! Morales has sight! Rodin Sword! And now, how about another Flame Gale on the X-Raider? Three more attacks on that guy, and we win. And it's all thanks to the king of games himself, Yugi Moto. Or Yami Yugi, or Atem, or whatever the fuck his real name is. Still haven't learned that, honestly. And I have seen Dark Side of Dimensions, so. Yeah. Flame game. Road in sword. And with that. We've won! Akura is now on our team. Now we can use up to five marshals in battle. So, hell yeah! I should have known! Nonsense. If you hadn't confused the enemy first, all attack would have gone so smooth. Thanks. Well, good. I'm glad I was able to help you. I'd like to stay with you from here on out. Is that okay with you? Sure. I'm happy to have you. And with that, Turbulent Waters. Having freed all of Vaxi Island, Yugi's Resistance Army has secured a firm power base. Resistance is now gathering its troops to cross over the Gigan Ship straight and take a foothold on the mainland. The loss of Capulia and Vaxi has left the Imperial forces badly shaken. The coast is almost undefended. However, although small in number, General Sekmaiten leads a unit well versed in naval warfare. They plan to stop the resistance before it reaches the mainland. Will Yugi find a way to defeat Sekmaiten's naval unit and reach the mainland? Well, you guys are going to find out next episode on Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. So next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom, we're taking on Sekmaiten. We're going to be getting some new monsters as well, not just the guys we just got from Bakura. But yeah, I'm going to mess with these guys before we get into that. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Comment in the comment section all your tips, tricks, and all that shite. Subscribe if you're new. Favorite the video if you want, but who the hell favorites who these days? I've already said it two times now, but next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom, Turbulent Waters, and possibly some more allies. So with that said, this is Fox Rose, and I'm telling you all to rag and roll, dudes and vixens! And